Three days of competition have led us to this Sunday. And for one solitary golfer in the field, today's the day. Today's the day that a new chapter will be written in major championship history. Today's the day that legends are born or amplified. Today, perhaps, will be the culmination of a lifetime's worth of dreams. Today is the final round of the United States Open. EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the Country Club at Brookline in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts, live final round coverage of the United States Open. Well, we have already seen three scintillating, sometimes spectacular rounds of golf. By the time twilight comes calling later today, we will have a champion as we check the Sunday leaderboard. Our leader here on this Sunday is our featured golfer. His cushion is a full four shots as he gets set to tee off. Now, nah, just caught it fat out of the rough. Never had a chance of reaching, and now it is time to regroup and try to escape with a par. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Just beyond the hole. Super job there out of the bunker. That one finished off. It's in for par. This will stay a four-shot advantage with time run out for the rest of the field. And we've got a fun one here, folks. 131 yards of par 311. Just a wedge to an undulating green protected front and left by sand, falling off steeply behind. So don't let that yardage fool you. This is a tough one. Getting some sand in the shoes now for a second straight hold. He's in the bunker. Now from the bunker. You know, just a little splash out on this par three. Oh, the hands came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand and a good chance to save par. So that brushed in for par here at 11. And he'll remain four clear of the field. Next up at the legendary Country Club in Brookline, it is the 478-yard par 4 12th, another hole where accuracy off the tee is paramount. Beautiful tempo to that swing. This is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. We're looking at 123 yards to the flag and the pin on the back portion in the left-hand side of this green. And that not quite going to hold the green, but that'll be OK. Now a seven-footer. No missteps there. It is a par here at 12. And this one close to being over as it'll remain a five-shot cushion. 
Onward now to the 490-yard par 4 13. Eight dog leg left with a green protected by water in the front, flanked by two bunkers. It's a good challenge right here, this par 4 13th at 490 yards. It's a dog leg left, and the green is protected by water in the front and you can see it's flanked by two bunkers. So if you get going sideways here or miss hit a shot, it could result in a big number. Yeah, that will get a little bit of run. And that will be just fine. Got to think this an extra half club or more. As he sets for a second into the wind. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. there down the slope it's in for a birdie and the lead is up to a full six shots on the rest of the field next up the monstrous uphill 625 yard par 5 14th an extension of the old 12th hole the back team makes you feel like you're in the nearby town of newton let her rip Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Okay, not too bad there. Seven feet now for birdie. Birdie's now at 13 and 14. And this is now, if you can believe it, a seven shot cushion. We come now to yet another wonderful par four here at Brookline. 515 yards, par four 15. There, good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. the touch right there very well done hard to do much better than that it was nearly perfect okay a solid par here at the 15th and the lead will remain six here in the late going we begin our finishing stretch here at the country club with the last par three of the day the 211 yard 16th which is flanked by mature trees and protected by four greenside bunkers Now, gonna have to try and get this out and let it run. Oh, 
Oh, nearly hold that one out. Just needed another foot or so, but an excellent job there. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And this lead, look at oh, so comfortable at this point. It remains at seven. On now to the 17th, it is a hole that can tempt you a par for it just 370 yards. A big drive could potentially get you up close, but beware the five bunkers around the green. The safer players can dial it down a bit and set themselves up with a scoring club in hand. Showing no signs of a let up here. This tournament seemingly under control as that's in the fairway here at 17. Good soft hands, that is nicely done. Right around six feet here for birdie. Oh, finishing strong, that's in for birdie here at 17. And this lead continues to widen. It is just a procession now, as the difference is eight shots at the top of this leaderboard. We finish our day at the Country Club, host of many historic tournaments, including four U.S. Opens, with the 455-yard par 418. Bunkers protecting the elbow on the dogleg left. Keep it in the fairway and finish with a birdie if you can. And that, I do believe, is into the bunker. Looking for a rousing finish, a second out of the sand at 18. Not the best shot we've seen today, but when you consider that was set out of the fairway bunker, it certainly gets a pass grade. So this for a finishing birdie at 18. And this has a little bit of uphill to it, working back to the right at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'd call that an acceptable effort from that range. So he'll finish up there. It's a par here at 18. And that will be a great final round score of 68. Frank, just a tremendous week of golf for our featured player, capturing another major title. This one, never an easy task. As you well know, you were close a number of times. Great contender, a U.S. Open championship. Yeah, and U.S. Open golf, Rich, uh, you're alluding to the fact that thick, rough, narrow fairways, rock hard greens that are lightning fast. Totally different test. I've always regarded it as the hardest test for a golfer. They've passed. Till next time, for our entire cast and crew, I'm Rich Lerner.